we're at the very top of the Sierra Nevada mountains. On the southernmost part of the range, we're sitting at about 7,000 feet in a 500-acre old-growth sequoia forest. It's, uh, I'd say, three steps closer to heaven than we were yesterday. In this place that we're sitting, half of this old-growth forest burned down last year, and half of these houses. They've never experienced a fire so hot that it burned the cones and the seeds. But that's exactly what's happened here. You know, it was thought that giant sequoias were fireproof. Well, they were wrong. You get a hot enough fire, they'll burn and they'll die. So the real magic was, is we've been in here working for 10 years, gathering and cloning the biggest, oldest 3,000-year-old sequoias and propagating and growing them in Michigan just in case something like this happened, and it happened. And today, school children replanted the world's first old-growth giant sequoia forest with the sequoia genetics that's from here that was lost, but it really wasn't lost. It lives on. So there you go. Now we have our first tree planted. We hooked up sensitive electronic vibrational equipment to a giant sequoia right over there with electrodes 250 feet on the branches up and an electrode into the ground on the roots. And for the first time in the history of the world, we listened to the vibrations or the music of the language of a 2,500-year-old giant sequoia. You guys want to, anybody want to touch the tree maybe and see what happens here? And later tonight, guys, I'm going to attach this tree to a light show, too, so the tree will actually be conducting a light show and playing music at the same time. And then we sent a guy up halfway up that tree with an electric guitar to play along with his electric guitar 50 feet, 100 feet in the air in a sequoia. Today we had 40 children participating and listening to the music of a 2,500-year-old giant sequoia and marveling at the idea that we can communicate with those beings. They have a consciousness just like we do. The restoration part is we need to begin to restore the forest lands the way that they were with the material they were so those forests can help us hang around and reverse climate change or we're not gonna make it as a species. So there's paradigm shifts that went into place today of the way we do business with trees. What we realize how they communicate now we're playing music to their tune. And if we work with them, they just might save us as a species on this planet. <laughs>